Hey everybody, it's Son of Beast here, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time, Brody Animate is back, and he has a special guest in his show, with someone that you might recognize from the other one of Oddballs. And yes, definitely watched Oddballs. It was perfect for me to watch it, and it's pretty funny, actually. I don't know which episode of it's my favorite, but you know what? I like all of the above. I mean, not bad for everything. But anyway, he has a special guest in the show. It's James from The Odd Is Out. Of course, it's Odd Ones Out. Well, expecting that you guys made the grammar correction, so make sure you do that right. In the meantime, he has a story to tell about strangers. Hmm, not really sure what it is. But anyway, let me go ahead and start reacting to this now. Here it is. Strangers from Brody Animates, featuring by The Odd Ones Out. Uh, I don't know how to start a video, dude. I never do. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we're back with Brody Animates, and we're going to be talking about strangers. Isn't that right? Holy, that is so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so much emergency. All with that animation. Nice one, whoever did that creation. <laughs> also, wait a second. We're here in person. We're here in person, live live from Canada. This guy, he just showed- Oh my God, that face reveal for Brody. <laughs> oh man, and James too. I saw this guy, you, you know you know this guy? Because that looks like um, the one that I saw him from the VidCon studio of the VidCon show, but it's so hilarious to see what the face is comes him up. <laughs> You know what, uh, in case I just did it wrong, let me just try again from the top. Oh my god. Okay, as I mentioned, I said it before, I saw James at VidCon, and this was the one that we went to a panel show right over here. If you guys know this guy, that's a face. And Brody Animates on that channel over there, too, with that face re reveal. Man, I can't even tell what it is now. Wow. But it's really cool that <laughs> from Canada, seriously, don't tell them where it is at. I thought it's from America. Okay, whatever. What up? I didn't even invite him or nothing. <laughs> like, he just, he's just here. Today, we're going to be talking about strangers. So oh my gosh. You stole from James's line. Why are you saying that? Okay, whatever. Some of the people I know are weird, and some. And some of the people I haven't met are weirder. Wait, 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 What, 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 what did you just say? What did you just say? I, uh, I, I did not hear what you just said right now. Um, after this, oh, oh God, okay. Uh, what did you just say? Some of the people I know are weird. And some, and some of the people <laughs> I haven't met are weirder. What, weirder? <laughs> what? I, uh, I just felt doubt that some people are so weird. I mean... I, when I just saw them, I just felt like they're acting really weird. I felt like, wait, wait a minute. Why are you acting like that? And sometimes on the other side, I just felt like, oh, nothing. I was just play doodle doodle. Whatever you said that. Well, eh, I guess it may not be a coincidence if somebody knows the secret of it. Well, I can't remember it anyway. So what in the world am I supposed to say? I'm just gonna let it pass on by if they're acting weirdos, whatever this is. The first story I got for you, this one's straight from Canada. I was in Edmonton. Edmonton is like Calgary, but a little bit worse. Oh no, the Battle of Alberta. I remember that one, that part of the game where they definitely did in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And that is why they definitely faced up each other. I know Calgary Flames are not doing so good at all, but Edmonton Oilers is better than Calgary for the part of the Battle of Alberta. Yeah, I don't really care about the Canadian teams that are my favorite. Only the America. I like Nashville Predators from the Western Conference. But New York Rangers is my favorite team here. So don't question me. Why am I a huge Ranger fan? Nobody has said that. <laughs> we were walking down the street. I, I just saw somebody. Wait a minute. Go back for a second. I just saw someone... I saw someone standing by. Oh my god, I just saw that. 
That guy just had a pistol out of here. Please do not shoot him in the eye out. You almost could have caused that to pass out of here. And you could go to jail. <laughs> we were walking down the street. I see a Wendy's. I'm hungry. Dude, I'm gonna get me a burger. This guy I'd seen walking on the road, he comes in and his entire butt is just hanging out. What? Of his what? Oh my God. What? What? Uh, uh, seriously? Why would you do that? Really? Because you are drunk? Huh? Or you're acting like a cocaine man, like a cocaine bear? Well, I don't think that's not even true. Like the cocaine wolf. Uh, no, I'm not going to talk about that one. You're, you know want me to do that. But I would have felt like this would have been heretically hilarious to say that, oh, you just stick your butt out so everybody could see that. Well, it would have been a great to put the Instagram post, but I think that's a little bit of a harassment. So that's probably not safe anyway. Yeah, good thing I just got it censored from the thumbnail picture. Pants, just bare, <laughs> bare butt, talking to the employees. He doesn't even order a burger. They hand him a napkin with two strips of greasy bacon on it. Um, I guess they definitely just put it on there for some reason. I mean, without the burger? I don't understand that. Well, it's just only just keeping him a napkin for sure. Unless if it gets greasy oiled. And then he just takes that and leaves. That's the entire interaction that we had. I just looked at him and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, oh yeah, I could definitely say that. If it was me, dude, WTF, what was that? Well, I would have predicted that. When I'm outside with other human beings, I am trying so hard not to be a disruptive member of society. For me to put on my Karen wig and to be like, ugh, you know, like <laughs> that's a lot. My story also involved waiting in line at a fast food place. People are the, at their lowest yeah. when they walk, go through a drive. The worst parts, the worst members of society are <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He got like flipped out. He just got caught up and with the giggle of the laugh moment. And especially back to a face reveal from animated peoples. Whatever. You call that. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting in line at the soda machine. And this guy, he just had his cup and then he was just holding it down on the ice machine. The ice machine was making this sound like oh. it was definitely out of ice. You know, it's just like, ee. I'm waiting for him to realize this. Then a line starts forming behind me. When do you feel like you're being stuck in line and you just hate the waiting there? And the guy's still just holding his cup on the ice machine. And I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna have to say something. He looked like a foreign tourist. So I'm also giving him the benefit of the doubt of like, just say something. Maybe this is his first time being at an American <laughs> ice machine. This is his first time at a Taco Bell. Exactly. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. I would just... Well, I just don't know anything. I don't know what to tell him, but. Uh, I'm just have no patience right now. So please try to do something. Go. I think it's out of ice. You know, that's all I said. <laughs> I, I think it's out of ice. Well, if it's out of ice, actually, then too bad. No ice for you. Then he just speaks in like full perfect English. Oh, is that what it is? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So they definitely did that. I thought he's just got some line out of here anyway. And he finally knew what he was going to say. It's a perfect ice. Oh my gosh. I mean, no. <laughs> I couldn't even tell what it is now. But, oh my. I couldn't say what the worst is the worst is. And then I just remember sitting down just being like, that was so much. <laughs> that took so much out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Too much for me to say about it. <laughs> Have you ever met me at VidCon? I met you in Wait, the like, Lego store. Oh, that's right. Do you remember? In front of the giant Lego yeah. store, and we did the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, what? Those cringe eyes. Wait a minute. Go back now. I just saw that coming. <laughs> Have you ever met me at VidCon? I met you in Wait, the Lego like, store. Oh, that's right. Do you remember? Like, okay, so he definitely realized that he met him at the Lego store. So Brody met James here at the Lego store, but I felt like I thought they met them at VidCon. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay. 
All right. I now I now I do understand what it is where it's taking place where they started meeting each other. So yeah, that's the thing. In front of the giant Lego yeah. boat, and we did the. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, <laughs> this one. Oh my god. Those four guys over here are definitely, like, staring at me. Don't stare. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Cringe eyes, bro. Where are those now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that with Swoosh and everyone? With Swoosh and Nick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was Swoosh. And, oh, yeah, this is reality. Comparison into this. I mean, I'm not kidding. Oh, looks like you got that beauty Brody shirt on for some mindful... Thing about it. I might have noticed that. But I don't know who this guy is. But only swoosh I know? I couldn't even tell. Yes, that's James over there that you're looking at on your left. So, yeah, of course. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was a lot. That was 2019. People always oh, 2019. Oh, okay, so that was the day uh, before me being unleashed at myself to be launched on July of 2019 is ask me what's the weirdest fan interaction I've had. And it's probably this, where this someone- This kid in a Lego store. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy, he asked, hey, can you lick me? I was like, what? What? No. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. What is he trying to say? Lick what? Lick in the face? Lick in from your tongue? Oh my god, that is not what I want to do. Especially if my parents would actually do that. I mean, this is like bad. I mean, don't ever think about that. It is so weird. I mean, I wouldn't even do that. You know, that would be pretty bad. Not a good choice at all. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is the thing that they definitely wanted to notice before. Um, when I was a little kid, I used to stay home, but you know what? Uh, I definitely did watch it, and this was, like, unbelievable. No offense whatsoever. This is kind of ridiculously gross. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to lick you. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't do that. So please get out of here. I said, okay, I'm out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> and I thought he said, can you lick me? What he really said was, can I lick you? Oh, and oh, that's fun. See, literally, literally, <laughs> he like, it's okay. I, um, okay, that, that's pretty weird. Please go away right now. Nobody wants to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. Clarified and then was like, no, 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 not that the other way. Because it was like that. I was like, you did not lick him. No, I didn't lick him. He licked me. You let him lick you. Yeah. You let him <laughs> Ew, the idiot guy. Okay, I guess he's such like a more like how delicious this is. I thought he was thinking of marshmallow. All right, enough of that one. Get back to it. He <laughs> lick you because he asked. Anything for a fan. <laughs> what would you rather do, Brody? Would you rather lick a stranger or have a stranger well, lick you? I'll tell you one thing. Okay. <laughs> not neither. <laughs> well, yeah, neither, I guess. You know, you shouldn't be looking at that. Impossibly not looking and depend on each other. Yeah, I don't think I would absolutely do that. So, yeah, that's a pretty bad idea. First of all, Brody, gun to the head. <laughs> does a stranger oh, lick you? <laughs> does a stranger lick you or you lick the stranger? Stranger licks me. See, right? that's stranger the better me. That's the right? better option. But, you can... <laughs> oh, so this is what the poll is. They lick you and you lick them? What? <laughs> oh my God. I don't think nobody would never know. What would definitely happen if something goes bad like that? Wow. I mean, not my idea to go with that. So, yeah, please get that away from me, okay? Put your foot down. You can just tell them they're, they're a freak. You can do that. <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, we had a talent show, and I was like, well, I ain't got no, I don't, I don't got no talent. Like, Did you have to be in the talent show? Well, I want to participate, <laughs> you know? I mean, I definitely would say is you want to participate for good. Well, I definitely did a talent show back when I was a seventh grader in middle school, 
and they really loved my singing career voice. I mean, I was definitely doing really well. But it looks like my majority is to be the animated creator of my career. So I would definitely try it that way and see how well I do. And my character voice acting as well. Well, I definitely sang a song. It's uh, from Sam Hunt, Take Your Time. If you guys know that song right away, I can definitely say is you guys remember the memories back then. But in that case right now, I definitely think that this one's a little bit more different than that. But now, I used to sing on a cruise ship, doing a little bit of a Charlie Poof song of attention. Yes, of course it is attention. Not catching your attention by teachers, parents, or anybody else that you may know. But that is definitely different. You know that? It's the thing. Like, I, I want to, how do I participate when I'm talentless? <laughs> I was like... Can I submit a video? <laughs> Couple hundred people in there. They pull down the projector. Yeah, yeah. This one's from Brody Butcher. He makes cartoons on the internet. Brody animates. Let's give it a watch, guys. Silence. Oh. Silence oh. at the whole thing, bro. Oh, no. I guess they're saying that, oh, is this a silent video? Am I sad that this one's a bad one? I mean, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. And no, no. No, it's not, actually. I would expect that this would have been radically different. I couldn't even say, maybe because of most people are silent right now, they feel like, uh, what is this? Well, I couldn't even ask. That's all it is. Yeah, nothing else to say about that. Don't you? I think an eighth grade talent show, you're not gonna see Justin Bieber or, or Taylor Swift performances. You know? Oh my god, I hate Justin Bieber so much. I don't know what in the world, because at that point, it's not happening like this. Well, he's already a grown man. Please show respect. No. They, they were all better than mine. Oh, no. <laughs> for context for this one, I might have to do a little announcement. I have a girlfriend. What? 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 You have a girlfriend? Wait a minute, what's her name? Are you gonna date each other? What? That's what Anthony did to me. <laughs> We've been oh, I don't know what that show is, but I'm not gonna guess, okay? Together for a good amount of time, so. Why are you whispering? I don't know, it feels weird to talk about. <laughs> They're gonna but hear you. We've been together! <laughs> oh my gosh, every time, every time. Don't let that happen again. is taller than me and his girlfriend is taller than him. So what, tall legs? What? <laughs> Who got that tall legs? Or is this makeup cartoon thing? Well, I'm not really sure. Why would they have to do it like that? It's not quite seven feet, two inches, but that's really tall. I mean, come on, man. So they're a tall couple. My girlfriend's six foot four. Good job, man, good, <laughs> good job. Oh yeah, good job. You got the correct answer. Good job. <laughs> We're moving to a bigger city and some of the places are just like, oh my God. Yeah. There was one place we went to, there's dirt, leaves everywhere outside. We open the door, it's the same on the inside. The dude, no disrespect, does not look like a landlord. He's wearing like fresh new Nikes and a giant gold chain. I'm like, what? okay, I all right. Exactly what a landlord. Some, I would have bet, like, I thought he was like a not nice guy. He really felt like the badger guy. I just can't pronounce the names anyway, so I'm not really saying about Sonic Domnus or even especially, of course, the Mr. Dr. Drew thing. I, I really don't have anything else to say about that. It's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> Our heads are <laughs> scraping the ceiling. You can see like drips on the walls from like leaks and stuff. The dude, he's like, if anything breaks, we're not going to fix it because in eight months we're gonna demolish it? Just just be aware of that. And I was like, dude, you want me to live here? <laughs> like, uh, and I'm assuming no, you didn't go with that one? Uh, actually we did, so oh. watch out for the wrecking balls. <laughs> oh, great. You always did that again, don't you? Oh, oh no, not this again. We don't go outside that much, do we, Brody? No, no, hold on. <laughs> I thought you do on a nice days. Yeah. Except, well, you did work at one point. At, at Subway? At, don't say it. Don't don't you dare say it. What was he going to say? <laughs> yeah, I thought he's dead. You did say it, Brody. You did say it. 
<laughs> I wasn't gonna say. Give me the microphone. <laughs> I even like when I was working at the subway, I was like, oh, okay, that's the guy that he worked at the subway. Especially to Haminations where he worked at five guys. I mean, I know that was the thing. But in that case, it's definitely one of the part of the fast food place that those two worked. One guy from Subway and the other guy from Five Guys. But in that case, I don't know what to tell you. Made some sandwich and the other one made some burgers. Well, in that case, I is different. Erratically different. Yeah, I couldn't even tell how much I really love Subway, but I'm more into Chick-fil-A guy. I could have wished I worked at Chick-fil-A, but it seemed like, well, not really. Clothing store, yeah, that was definitely totally fair for me. And definitely on that occasion, a lot of customer satisfaction. Great to hear that. Like going out of my way to like not be disruptive or bothering people, you know? I even mentioned this in the video. There was like some kids stealing a bag of chips and I asked them like, oh, anything else? And they're like, no. And I'm like, well, we got nothing else to do here then. <laughs> How dare you not have loyalty to your corporation? <laughs> They're paying me the, the legal lowest amount they could pay me, <laughs> you know? Those kids are probably your age, Brody. Probably. And now they're like seniors in high school. Time just moves forward. You're old, it? man. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think he would be. So I wouldn't guess him out of the age. So if you ladies know this truth, I mean, you may never guess that. But in that case, I definitely felt like he's like young. So, I mean, time flies when you're going by. So, nothing else that you can't come and compete on me. In between the animators who are doing the best. If all their artwork and yeah, that's definitely true. <laughs> I've had two jobs other than YouTube. One of them was being a referee. I talked about that in the videos. The other one was just picking up garbage. What do you mean? Like my mom was like a facilities manager at like a strip mall and I would just pick up garbage. I got like 20 bucks a day. Oh my God. <laughs> I, 20 bucks a day. <laughs> That's the lowest amount. I thought it would be higher than that, like 40 or 50. Well, not 100. That's not even true. That's definitely different. And there's Brock on the other hand. It wasn't me, but it was my brother that went in to help. And uh, there was a battlefield of seagulls. Oh my gosh, did somebody shoot the birds? Like it's duck hunt? Or was it totally me shooting him out of here? You know, I could have gotten a high score better than that. Well, I'm not really capable of playing Duck Hunt. I'm not a best shooter at it. It's too hard to get away with it. Seagulls. And there was like dead seagulls and seagull feathers everywhere. They had like a war. Yeah. They had to pick it all up. <laughs> oh, wow. The war. Huh? What? The war? I want to be over. I want that to be over. <laughs> I just wanted to share that. Can I, can I sh <laughs> now that we're in on the topic of jobs. of jo oh no, I was gonna say dead animals. Yeah, oh my god. My what a great tangent. <laughs> my girlfriend hit a squirrel with her car. They like run out in the street, and there's been times where I've like swerved my car and like slammed on the brakes. So I don't blame my girlfriend for hitting the squirrel. Same girlfriend that put a snake in. And you know what she did to the squirrel? No. What did she do? Don't tell them that she threw it out into the lake. She was bro. like, oh, I'm gonna see if a taxidermy store wants it later. Why so would a taxidermy store want it? Why, 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 is that really true? No, don't think about that. You know, that's pretty bad, huh? Of course it is. Why later? <laughs> she put it in a fridge and then we left the country and now we're in Canada. Oh my God, no, that is pretty bad. I would not do that. I would just like leave it at the side of a road. Well, if I was a worker to clean up the roads, I mean, that would have been the right thing for me to do it. Yeah, I can't really say that is, it is pretty bad. I don't want that to happen again. Oh my God. And there's just yeah. a dead squirrel in my freezer right now. Your girlfriend seems to have a lot of brushes with death. Yeah. You think you're <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Thanks for having man. me over here in yeah. your basement, yeah, of Brody. Course, man. Yeah, I mean, I hope you're gonna like it here. Is it always that important that the basement also has a room studio? 
Am I also questioning about that, Brody? Because that's the one I was just trying to think about that. Is it a your studio or is it radically just a little bit of a room of basement down the stairs? I mean, I'm not sure. Oh, in Canada? No, just here. Oh, because I can't leave? No. Oh. Can we get- so if you, uh, there's some old videos on screen. I'm still holding the microphone. I don't know if you want to say goodbye to the audience. Yeah, I mean, say goodbye. I guess. Yep, there you go. You know what to wear. <laughs> uh, what? I don't know how to- I mean, I don't know what to wear, but anyway, I would wear the infamous swoosh shirt. I have that on my Christmas list. But please don't boo me, all right? I know that I think I am a huge Haminations fan of the number one, but I'm more likely into number two fan of the infamous swoosh. So please don't think about booing me, all right? In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video of my reaction. Sorry, you took too many multiple takes. Got me a little bit stuttered, but all right. Well, I guess that it's pretty much done. So in the meantime... Thank you for watching, and I'm out of here. Peace out, everybody, for a while as the strangers on Brody Animate style, featuring the odd ones out. And yes, I will do computer and animation to do that one on the other side. So with that, thank you for watching. Peace out, folks. Until next time, goodbye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.